Coliseum. And will we see these two in March for an ACC title? The first ever meeting, Lachlan McNeil, the redshirt freshman, 13th in the country, and the returning All-American, the veteran Cole Matthews, 13 and one. Matthews, the three-time NCAA qualifier, fifth the season ago, one of the fan favorites. And he will try to figure out Lachlan McNeil, who just seems to be getting more and more comfortable each and every weekend. Both these guys are confident, different types of confidence. Cole Matthews is more of a quiet confidence. Lachlan, Lachlan McNeil will tell you how confident he is. And the thing about it, he backs it up. This is going to be determined by the first takedown. Whoever gets the first takedown is going to determine this match. Just the third time Matthews has wrestled here inside the peak. He talked about how he loves coming here to compete. Opportunity tonight against the ranked wrestler McNeil. Trying to dig in a right arm underhook. McNeil steers it away. Both guys are very good at what's called sitting the corner. Meaning when someone shoots a shot, they like to get to the side and try to spin behind and perhaps look for a cradle. I see that Cole Matthews a little more aggressive. He's, he's coming out and trying to force the offense. We had a chance to talk to both of these wrestlers, as you alluded. They both talked about the significance of getting the first takedown. And the reason for this, Cole Matthews knows if he gets the first takedown, his opponent has to now come to him. And that means that opens up his counter offense. Lachlan McNeil knows that if you score first on Cole Matthews, he has to come at you. And Lachlan McNeil is very good at counter offense as well. So in many ways, these are very similar wrestlers. You know what? That was, that was interesting because Cole Matthews is going hard for that left side underhook with his left arm. And right when he came in, you saw Lachlan McNeil go to a sweet single on the other side. Little data shot. How did he respond to that? Data shot, data information, build enough to figure out how he's going to attack later on in the match. McNeil fairly new to folk style wrestling, and what was so interesting when we talked to him, I asked him, so what do you think? What do you prefer as he tries to off balance Matthews with his upper body, the underhook, but Matthews able to get back, regain his balance. And Lachlan McNeil said, I'm actually better suited for folk style. And that was a surprise to me. And conversely, Cole Matthews says he's better at freestyle. <laughs> Boy, did you sense his excitement to take it to the next step as far as the international once his days at Pitt are done? He kind of dipped his toe in the water this offseason at the U23s, had a great experience, and he's all fired up for his freestyle future. A little technical thing that you saw with Lachlan McNeil because what you saw with Lachlan McNeil, when you saw Cole Matthews had an underhook and under the chin, immediately Lachlan McNeil went to attack the hand on the chin and it stopped for what, what Cole Matthews has. And what Cole Matthews has is a cement mixer or cement job. He said that earlier, that was a data shot and he's getting a little closer with that underhook to a throw by. There is Lachlan's dad, Callum, who competed in the 1992 Summer Olympics at 68 kilos. He represented Great Britain, able to make the, a journey here to Pittsburgh to watch his son capturing every moment on video. It's interesting, his first camp was with the GZ Group, which is located in Rochester, New York. And so the uh, first people that Lachlan and his father met here in the United States, Adam Burgos, and then the Diakamahalas family, and they have kept the relationships throughout the years. Now McNeil, who's very good underneath, trying to get out. Matthews will have to let him go. Good job there by Lachlan McNeil. 25 seconds, and he is away. We can't overemphasize how important that was because Cole Matthews is very good on top. 
And so, Lachlan McNeil has gone to an underhook immediately to a throw by, I meaning he's throwing the overhook over like someone's pitching the ball. So he's getting an underhook underneath the armpit of Cole Matthews and throwing it like a pitch to drop down to leg. The first time he whiffed, the second time he got to the heel. Let's see if he goes back to it. Actions. One minute. One minute remains. Halfway through the second period, the escape by McNeil has been at 1-0 UNC, trailing 9-3 through the first four matches. Rocks featured about tonight. Not that great. I can honestly say no real surprises so far. Either. No, no. But one thing I, I, I have seen is that Lachlan McNeil is attempting shots. Most people don't like to shoot on Cole Matthews because he's so darn good at defense. And another thing I noticed by doing that underhook that Lachlan McNeil has and throwing it, it keeps him away from Cole McNeil. Cole Matthews defense. It's a little chess match going on right here. Every time Cole Matthews goes for an underhook, Lachlan McNeil uses his left arm to block that from getting in. Matthews will have the opportunity to start the third period underneath. Matthews headlining five ranked wrestlers, one of the power weights for this conference. Jack Forth, Tom Crook, the good Looking youngster for Virginia Tech, and then McNeil and Brian Courtney at 141. All right, so Matthews underneath, and just like we saw with McNeil, he has no trouble getting out. So we go back to the feet tied at one. Here it is. This is where it's going to be decided. This is typical Cole Matthews match. He wins it tight, wins it close. But remember, his only loss was in a match just like this. Keeping it close. So it's, it's, it's just a game of inches and a game of milliseconds. Because that's all it's going to take for either one of these guys to get in and try to finish something. It, 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 this, is, this, is, this is not boring. Because there's a shot. It's, it's, it's just a quickness. But this is where Lachlan McNeil is very good at sitting in the corner. You see, he's sitting in the corner, and he's good here. But Cole Matthews is going to try to lift the leg and watch out for the quick. This is Cole Matthews. Typical match here. He got a high C, and he stayed tight. Now, Lachlan McNeil has to come after him. This is typical Cole Matthews. Three to one. He, he went to it again, Sean. He went to the underhook. And if he keeps going there, he's going to try and catch the shoe races of Cole Matthews. Cole Matthews has got a circle. He's going to get in for stalling. But that's just, that's a veteran move right there. Veteran move to circle. So here's this, the, the, the take that here. High C. And at this point, this is when Lachlan, Lachlan McNeil feels very good at sitting in the corner. But it's just too much offense for Cole Matthews right there to finish it. So McNeil Lachlan. on the hunt now with 18 23. seconds to go. Matthews knew he had a stall call to give in his back pocket. Lachlan McNeil trying to find any answer. And Matthews just bunkers down on the leg underneath. And this is a real good position. If you're Cole Matthews on the edge, he will hold serve here. And Matthews wins a tight one at 141 to the delight of Keith Gavin. Hit. Ups the ante. 3-2. Matthews over McNeil. Top matches, they'll see each other again, but this is Cole Matthews' style. He finishes it, but this is now a very tight match. Pitts came out early, then you see a good win by Wagner, Mickey Phillippe doing it, and then Cole Matthews winning a tight match off of a very game, Blackley McNeil.